Hello there, fellow game dev creators, and welcome to a brand new series of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I've played this uh, quite a while back, and I thought, why not jump back in it and uh, just have fun, really? It's a pretty nice chill out game. Um, if you like creating, starting from scratch and then creating your own game, then this is a game for you. So, we're going to have a, a new game. Start a new game. Basically, you start in a garage, as you can see here, and then when you start getting more money, you can move out your garage, and then you can hire people, then you can start making AAA games, you can make online games, then you can do some research and make your own computer. So that's going to be good. So without further ado, let's uh, crack on and then see how far we get. There is like a limit of what you can do in this game. Uh, you can keep continuing on and on and on and on. You can make sequels of games, but eventually it'll it'll just like stop basically, uh, where we'll just keep doing the same thing. So we'll see how far we get. And I hope you enjoy the series. If you do, then subscribe and click the like button. If you don't like the series, then a dislike. Um, I can't stop you, can I? <laughs> uh, but yeah, here we go. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn and enjoy this brand new series that we're going to be doing. So, welcome to the Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulator, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company, right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games and game fans and become the leader of the market. Before you start... Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. So, what we're going to call it? I haven't got a clue. We'll call it Hills... Uh, Hills... Inc. <laughs> Why not? Hills Inc. Uh, player name? We'll call it Matty Hills, because obviously that's my name. Uh, we're not a girl, we are a boy. Uh, does he have a bald head? Does he have a red thing? No. Oh, he's sort of got a rope, I'll give him there. I don't think you can have a bald dead guy, can you? No. We'll give him that. Why not? Right, so there's our character, company name, Hills Inc. Right. Since you've played the game before, do you want to choose all the previous game hints and tips? No. Right, so... Like I said, I've got all them as safe valves from years back. So this is our character. This is our little um, our little workstation. So basically, how we start. I haven't got tutorials on. We just left click anywhere on the screen, like this. And eventually, this gets bigger and you can develop quite a lot. And so the first thing we're going to do is develop a new game. So game one. What we're going to call it depends what type of game we're playing. So we got three topics here, or well, three um, things you can click. So you can pick the topic, pick the genre, and pick the platform. So the topic we've got, we need to unlock all these because you do research as well eventually. So you can have uh, colonization, mystery, music, or mythology. So we'll have um, we'll have a colonization, I think. Uh, genre, what's it going to be? Action, adventure, simulation, RPG, or strategy? Um, I think we'll have uh, a strategy game. It's like uh, Civilization, isn't it? A uh, platform. Now, at the moment, we've only got two PCs to pick from. Uh, each different one where it says genre match, unknown. When you release games, it'll tell you which this title platform likes so you get like plus one plus two plus three on so if it's like plus three on action adventure then that's the one you want so we've got the g64 and a pc we'll have the pc and we'll have the pc yeah uh what we're going to call it we'll call it um not too sure S settlers <laughs> We'll just go over the very basic uh, thing. So we'll call it Settlers. It doesn't matter what you call it, by the way. You can call it anything. So this is where we have our um, 
features, so the graphics, so we're going to have tech space. This is the money, by the way, 5K, our money's in the top top right corner there. We've got no fans, we're in year one, month one, week four. Um, that's our cash, 70K at the top right corner there. Uh, so we'll have two 2D graphics, which is going to cost us £10,000. And that's all we can have. There is no like speed or anything what we can do. Right, so colonization game, what do we want? I think we'll have put the engine up and gameplay. It's not really like a story, is it? Story and quests can come down. And then these can come up, I think. Run about, I don't know, there. So we've got the engine and gameplay, because that's um, colonization strategy. Strategy games, you don't really have stories and quests here. You might have a few, but, but not a lot. So okay on that. Over here, that's how many bugs it's got. That's the design phase, and that's your technology and your research points, which we can spend to upgrade stuff later on, which we'll uh, get to later. Um, when you are designing the game, if you look in the top middle there, the design and technology, you do want them to roughly be the same. You don't want like 100 design and then like 20 technology, you know. Right, so dialogues, level design or AI. So obviously on a colonization strategy game, you probably want good AI. Level design? Um, yeah, we could have like, it's more like level design. Dialogues is somewhat not too bad i'm just going off by like civilization i haven't really played that much but i get the gist of it so this is like where how far we into in this middle bar here this blue bar eight so development stage three so we're on the last stage right so we need world design graphics or sound now I say graphics are going to be important. World design can be up there. Sound can be. Sound can probably just stay the same. And that's it. Okay. So we'll see what that does. So we've got three bugs. We're on 12 and 12. If we do leave it, it does get rid of the bugs. And eventually, it will give you like a new design and a new technology as well sometimes on these bubbles, what come out of his head. Uh, so we'll finish that. Hopefully it's going to give us some money. Because if it doesn't, then um, it's not going to be that good of a thing. And once you once you keep um, making games, etc., you get better levels up so you can get better equipment. So if you've noticed our gameplay has sort of gone up, all these dialogues, level design, because we used them all. The higher the level, obviously the, be the better the tech, basically. Um, but yeah, we'll release that game. There's, we can't do no marketing or anything. We can't really do much. So here's the first reviews of uh, the settlers have come in. Oh, it could have been better. You, you do want like... Right. That's not too bad. Six and sevens. Can we skip these? I don't think we can. Uh, six and sevens and sevens. Fun is a strategy, it's a game's combination, I like it, it's Game Hero. Focus on AI, service game very well, it could have been better, well, obviously it probably could have. And that's it, and then we just wait. Newcomer the industry has just released their first game, Settlers. The game received um, favorable reviews with such a good start, Hills Inc. shouldn't gain fans quickly. There we go. So now this is our Settlers game there. So we've sold 8,000 units in the first first week. And we're, we're number 31 in the charts. And we made £56,000, as you can see there on the top right. And we gained 70 fans. So we're already in profit already. Uh, settlers were successful. We now have 70 fans. So now what we can do, so if you notice now we've got a different, uh, more of a variety to choose from. We've got our game history. This, this is what we've got. So it's got 6.5 stars in total. We've got nothing... Else, so this is we can't go left or right because we've only released one game. So that's how many units it's sold, like at the current state. Uh, really tells you the release date, the average score, how many fans, and top sales rank. Um, research this is where you spend your research points. So at the moment, we can't really do that much. 
but we can um, we can we need 50 research points to do custom game engine uh, a new topic costs 10 research points which is there Them blue ones at the top right so we'll click a new topic we start a new research why isn't that up oh, there we go um, so we've got these four here so we can either do fashion ninja rhythm or space I think we'll do space uh, start the research so now our research points has gone down and settlers keeps selling so got 10k units sold so that's good we are making money on it and we'll just have to wait for this research to be done then we'll make I think we'll make a space game the sales do go up and down so you still you do want to like keep um, making games so generate game report we can have a game report on that which basically gives us more insight and more information of what the game likes what platform it likes on what people like like the genres so here we go so colonization and strategy it's a great combination which is good uh, graphics seem to be not very important for this type of game so we've got graphics there so we don't need to focus on graphics um, the engine seems to be quite important so now we've learned that the engine on these um, strategy colonization games well probably strategy games is a, a good engine and a platform genre match PC strategy is great so that's it so we'll develop a new game because um, now if we do the same again that's what I want. See how it's got the green on the PC now. Strategy there. Plus, plus, plus. That's what we wanted. Um, so it's got action, adventure, RPG and simulation. So we'll develop a new game. We can't do no, nothing else. Uh, we'll do our space one. Uh, the genre. I think we'll do a simulation. Uh, platform is PC. We'll call it Space Fighter. Space Fighter. Simple. Simple name. It's going to cost us £15,000. Uh, 2D graphics. See what this one brings us. Recent Mac usually suggests that the um, G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Customer for the lower price, great availability, and the flexible hardware configuration of the home computers. Experts say this might spell the end of the computer and hardware manufacturers. Nah. We all know. Right, so development stage one for space um, simulation. Now, do we want s stories? Not stories and quests, we'll have gameplay and the engine. So the game has come off the market. Eventually, the, the, the games will come off the market um, automatically. So Settlers sold 22,000 units and it generated us 157,000 in uh, sales. What we can do eventually, we can make a sequel to that, which will be pretty interesting, which I think we will later on. Right, so Space Fighter, Simulation, AI, definitely. We don't want dialogues and we want level design, I think. So we'll see about that one. What happened there at the bottom there? A bit bugged out there. We've got four bugs. We need some more technology. So we've got them sound and graphics. So I think the sound can come down. World design? Hmm. I don't think we need world design. We can have world design. Like the sound should be pretty good. I think we'll have that there. Between space and simulation, world design, it's only a couple of rocks, isn't it? So we'll let him uh, finish these bugs like that. See how we just got a design point there. There we go, got another design point and another one and it's bringing us to 11, 11. Uh, It's planning to launch its very own gaming console. Never is no Mario 6 arcade game, Dinky Kong. So this is like Nintendo and Donkey Kong. Uh, that Nintendo would deliver. So right, we'll finish this Space Fighter off. We've got 11-11 experience of 
these are our experience points that we got and our level uh, experience for our character. So we'll release the game. The first reviews are in. Ooh, what we're going to be? We're on a seven. Nice. A good start. We're on a seven. The first focus on AI. Yep. It's a good game. And it's quirky, but good. Well, 776. So it's going to. It's the same like all the settlers, isn't it? So we do our research. We can do another topic, but we don't want another topic. Um, we can't really. We'll generate a game. Oh, we can't do that yet. So let's space fighter sell some units. That's sold. That's rank twenty eight. So we'll get a game report. Uh, space fighter, select, and then we're going to see what what the genres and are. Because once we start creating again, so when I go back on settlers again, it'll show us what it's more focused on. So game report done. We've got thirty five research points. Um, we don't want to research. We'll develop a new game. So if we do this, like say colonization and strategy again, uh, platform next. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Ah, there we go. This is what I wanted to show you. So see how the engine uh, is, it's got two, two things. So it's more on the engine than gameplay. So we'll put that down. Story and quests don't do matter. So we'll, we'll put this down a bit. So it's more on the engine. We won't have... So there's there's a Nintendo. <laughs> uh, we'll cancel this game later on. I don't think we can cancel it now, can we? No. So we'll cancel this game, but we'll get the experience points anyway. So that's not too bad. Right, so dialogues level design can come down and AI can go up. So at least we're getting the experience and design points and whatnot. Uh, sound can come down, world can come down. Put that in there like that. eventually you'll get a lot of uh, market share so space fight is off the market so that sold 15,000 units and we gained a hundred well, didn't sell as much so we'll finish this we'll get the experience for this so we've got a new record of technology it will trash that you don't lose the experience so we've got the experience right so we've got 43 research points game history street space and settlers so develop a new game. What we're gonna have? A mystery, music. We'll have a music. Um I think we'll do another No, we'll do. Hmm. We'll do mythology and we'll do RPG. Role playing gamer. So we'll put that on the PC. We'll call this um What can we call it? A mythology RPG. We'll call it what can we call it? We'll call it World World of Myth. The world of myth. <laughs> right. So let's see what this does. So it's a role playing game. It's not a role playing game. Stories and quests. Engine can come down slightly. With game gameplay engine can be sort of equal, um, about half and half, I think. So it's more of a story and quest type of thing. And then open world. Uh, we have got fifty research points after this, so we're gonna have dialogues, level design possibly. It's down there. Move them like that. So it's RPG. You want good dialogues, possibly up. And what's the next one? So, world design. Graphics can come down. Sounds can come down. You want good world design, don't you? And an RPG game. So, we'll do that. Right. So, we'll get rid of these bugs and hopefully... 
test by Nintendo has been released. That's good. So we can put games on that now. But it's going to give us some more design there. So we'll finish that off. Got a new record of design there as well. So we've got, since we've got a bonus, we've got a new topic and new combo since we've done something different. So now our engine gameplay level design and everything's leveled up, which is good because that means we'll, we'll get more design and, and technology and research points. So the releases have come in the world of myth. It is a seven. It's a good game. What are you going to give us? It's a eight RPG games work well on PC. Nice. So that's an eight. Oh, we've got like a little big hit here. Nice experience. There we go. So that should um, give us quite a few sales. So generate a game report on the world of myth. What's it going to be? Rank 38, 31,000 sales. Contract work. Hi there, I've just finished World of Myth. I'm impressed by your talent. I'm contacting uh, your business and we would like to use your skills. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and I'll see you have some work for you, Jason. So basically, contract work is, if you don't want to create a game, it's just another source of uh, getting money and uh, research points. Uh, game report. Our post-release analysis of World of Myth is complete, and we now have the following results. Mythology and RPGs a good combination. Dialogue seem very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, PC, RPG is good. Nice. So we've got a contract work. Uh, so we can do these ones. I don't think we need to do contracts at the moment. Uh, research, we can do a custom game engine, which is going to cost us 50 research points, which will start. Bump us up in that uh, category. So World of Myth is selling, it's sold 17,000 so far. Can we get 20? It's starting to go down rank 91. So we have got some sales, new research available, game tutorials. Uh, so we've got game tutorials as well. We'll have game tutorials, we'll research that and then we'll make something. So we've um, done some research. You have successfully researched custom game engines. Nice. It's always good to have a custom game engine. And that's come off the market now, the world of myth. It sold 18, well, 19,000 units and generated 132,000 in sales. And the research is complete that game tutorials so now what we can uh, we can create a custom engine which is going to have all this so we can put all this in it's going to cost us hundred and twenty thousand pounds and we're going to call it uh, what can we call it call it echo um call it echo y2 just so we know it was year two that we created it and it's going to have 2D graphics, we're going to have linear stories and save games and tutorials. So we've got remain, this is what we've got remaining here. Um, so on our next game we've got 80, I was going to say we need to make a game next and get some cash. So this is our custom game engine now so we can create games and put it on this engine which is going to be even better. This doesn't um, get sold, by the way. But we are losing money. Right. So, we need to develop a new game. Pick a game engine. It's Echo. A topic. We'll do a new colonization. We'll call it... Then strategy... We'll have a... Um, what do we want? I have a, mu a music, uh, we've done simulation, well, so what have we done here? Let's see what we've done. Game history, we've done RPG, we've done simulation and strategy. We'll do a strategy colonization again, develop a new game. Game engine, Echo 2, colonization, strategy platform can't afford that we'll 
put it on the PC. And we'll call it Settlers. We'll call it Settlers 2, why not? Well, a new engine, tech space 30. Don't forget we've got 60k. 2D graphics. Game engines. Stories. We're not going to have enough for this. We'll put, we'll put in that. Come on. Hopefully we won't get bankrupt. <laughs> so we need we need this to be a hit. One customer says he loves the games. That's on the the new console watch just come out. I don't think I can put anything in this at the moment. I uh, put level design. Well, AI level design there. Hopefully we can get this game out before we get bankrupt. I'm not too, I can't remember what happens when we go bankrupt. Right. So strategy, 2D graphics can go up. Sound can come down. Wall design can come down. We'll have that like that. Right. So get these bugs out like that. Hopefully this will be... A good one. So we've got level two on them now. So we're going to release the game. Mono sound now in new research. So how much is that? 40,000. Well, 40 research points. So hopefully if this is a flop. It's game over. Ah, it's it's not too bad. Got sevens and eights. That'll do, mate. On our new game engine. So... Uh, generate game report settlers too. I think we'll uh, we'll be all right on that. There we go. Lovely game reports. So it should be the dialogues seem not important. And story and quest we're not important for this type. So I think that's uh, a good way to do stuff now. So we've got a new develop new game, create custom engine. We don't need to do that. We've got nothing there at the moment. Uh, we do have some research to do, uh, but we might as well do the research. Get rid of that. So we'll make another game. Current on market shares region published game settlers two surprise with the hits with players. The developer Hills Inc. is fairly new fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they've developed next. Yeah, I can't. Recent studies saying that the increasing variety of game devices also create the market more um, specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers. More development in the market will accept developers to focus their games on age groups to really make an impact. New research about target audience. So we can't research that yet because I don't think we've got enough points. There we go. 15. So, I think um, on that note, we'll leave it here pause it we'll leave it here and if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care